Is there any positive for Brexit for, for in the northern communities? Well, um, we don't know the way it's going to turn out. If, if at the end of all this, um, Britain becomes more successful in exporting to the rest of the world, well, you know, this is a part of the country that has got export potential. Uh, one of the things I was going to say tonight, and it probably will be a bit controversial with some of the people who are committed to remaining, is that as a result of leaving, uh, it, the British government will get more freedom to do things. Uh, for example, if we wanted to subsidise industries, at the moment you can't do that because the European Commission blocks it. If you wanted to interfere with trade, I mean, I'm not keen on that because I'm, I'm a free trader basically, but if you did want to block imports, you'd have more freedom to do it. If you want, if, if, if you want to have a system where, say, Liverpool City Council uh, wants to buy from Liverpool companies as opposed to buying from anywhere in Europe, you'll have greater freedom. You know? So if, if, we, if the government wanted greater freedom to help Liverpool or help the north of England, it will have that. Brexit. So that's one of the potential advantages. Um, I also suggest in the lecture that if the government does block immigration, which they say they will from Eastern Europe, this will create quite big labour shortages in London and the South East, driving up pay. It will make it more attractive probably for companies to come here. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I, I don't know, but that's a possibility. Uh, and the other thing which um, is a bit um, uh, 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 imprecise, but at the moment the British economy is very heavily dominated by the City of London and the banking sector. And it may be that if they are damaged or excluded from Europe, that we shall start to think of how we can get a better balanced economy in the UK with more manufacturing and so on. So, so those are all things which I say are possible signs of hope. So it's not all negative.